Back in 2013, a tech demo was made available to everybody. This, simply known as Kara. It was seemingly nothing more than a demo from Quantic Dream. This demo was created to demonstrate the true power of the PlayStation 3. Little did we know that this tech demo would now be the inspiration behind Detroit Become Human. My absolute favorite Quantic Dream title to ever be released this far, if not one of my favorite games of all time. And I truly mean that. Now my channel has been on a bit of a hiatus these past few months, I'll admit that. But within that time I've taken off of YouTube, I kept thinking to myself that one day I'll play a game that I truly enjoy to the point where I feel there's no other way to express how much I wholeheartedly enjoyed every second of it. And that again, is something that I truly mean. Now before I start this playthrough, I just want to let everybody know that this won't be my first blind playthrough, but rather my second attempt at getting the best ending possible. I'll talk more about my blind playthrough ending in the final episode of this series to give you guys an idea of how different this was from, well, my playthrough where I knew nothing about this game. I'm gonna be basing all my decisions around what worked and what didn't. For those of you that have never played Detroit, well, some of the, some parts of the game may be even entirely new to me or I've never seen them before. I may even be experiencing parts of this game for the first time as well. <sighs> Alright, well, that's enough chat, I think. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's just do it. Completely new story. Uh, your previous checkpoints will be replaced, your story will be updated as you play. We do not mind because we are going to try for the best playthrough. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit nervous because uh, we're going to be doing this one shot. No redos, no save and quits, no replays, nothing like that. So this is uh, best ending playthrough, completely one shot. And I'm doing this based solely off of the experience I had in my first playthrough. Fix the tie. Negotiator on site. site. Alright, here we go. Straight into the game. Now, if I'm aware... <laughs> I mean, this, this all feels completely new to me, but... We're gonna get the hang of it real soon, really quick. Study the family. Now, for the most part, throughout this playthrough, I am going to remain silent, so you guys can enjoy the game. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Don't let that thing Let's do it. So I believe at this point it won't let us pick up any evidence. Are we able to? Yeah. No, so it won't even let us go yet. So it kind of stops us from proceeding too far into the to the main area of this mission until we speak to the captain here. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Have you tried its deactivation codes? Never used this line. Hmm. Do you know its name? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. I'll take care of it. That's great. That's always some good news. Great way to start off. First clue. And we've got one over here. I 
in, I believe. Yep, it's the only one. Okay. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are some clues in here that aren't really required. But as for the most part, for example, this one... Let's pass that one up just for now. This is one of the important ones here. I know that for sure. dialogue. Let's pass that up just for now. I don't think we are going to go back to that clue. No worries. We're going to go to the next main big one that we do need. It's be right here. Now, I'm a bit more familiar with this mission just simply because they did release a demo for the PS4, uh, which was this mission, which really got me into this game, and I don't know why I passed this up. I guess just more of a timing issue, you know, that's more or less when my channel went on a little bit of a break. But this is one of the missions they did have in the demo. It was great. Great mission. It's, it's intense. It's got everything. So there is going to be our other main big clue that we are going to need for this. Your order for an AP700 Android has been registered. CyberLife thanks you for your purchase. Now, one thing for certain, there are a lot of clues that we can go over in this one specific area, just alone. Holy shit! Cover me while I patch your hand down. I repeat, man But down. this one right here is the one that we're gonna focus on. This is actually the last one we are gonna get. Sorry for, uh, I'm sorry to all those completionists out there. We are gonna pass some up. Now, if we go back in time, there. That is the last additional dialogue that we are going to use to our advantage to get the best ending. There we go, probability of success, probability of success going up. Now, we're gonna take the gun, but as I said, this is gonna be the best ending playthrough, so we're gonna grab it, but we are not gonna use it. And there's a very important reason why, which you guys are gonna see right here. I don't know why he walks backwards, it's really we weird. Take down this asshole. Here goes nothing. Any closer or I'll jump! This Are you armed? is one of the biggest parts of why we picked up the yes. gun. Yes, I have a gun. Drop it. No sudden moves or I'll shoot. There. No more gun. I know you and Emma were very close. 
You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Snipers on every roof. Let the I've never chosen this dialogue before. Oh, that was. To leave. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake there. And, and never went with that one before. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. That nod. Ooh, that nod. I always don't want to go with that choice just because you are lying to his face. But, this is the 100% playthrough, so... <laughs> you lied to me, Connor. You lied to me. And that's just the perfect way to end off this mission as well, just Connor walking by the lieutenant, I, I don't remember what his name was, just all badass, like, yeah, yeah, I solved that. Okay, uh, this is the scene's flowchart, here you can review the paths you've taken, um, yeah, you know what, why not? So I'll give you guys a little glimpse of what I've chosen, which it's obviously, it's gonna look a lot similar to my first playthrough because this whole mission played out essentially the same. Uh, this was the mission of the demo, so I was fortunate enough to try every single approach. But I figured out with this combination... Yeah, let's get a little closer so you guys can read that. Just pause if you need some more time there. And that is actually... <laughs> that's actually the only ending I got. Because it was the same in the previous one. So let's continue. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and dialects. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Wow. Yes. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. At now, as I did say before, I am going to keep the commentary to a minimal, just so you guys can enjoy and the game more. I will make a, the, you know, the odd comment here and there. Maybe if there's a, a whole scene I haven't seen yet. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. 
If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, uh, this is the start to an interesting journey, let me tell you. So while this in while this intro is playing out, I just want to take this uh, time out to tell you guys, you know, I hope you enjoy the playthrough. Don't know how long each episode's gonna be, but thank you for sticking through it. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have as much fun as I did playing this game. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this as much as I did when I first played it, and even this playthrough. Amazing. It, it it just it always blows me away this intro. I just it's great. It's great. This whole game is great. <laughs> you guys are gonna hear me say that a lot throughout this whole playthrough. But I do mean it. Another thing really quick, before I do proceed as well, there will be magazines throughout the world. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid them, because they're not, they don't really have anything to do with the gameplay itself. Just more of a little side collectible thing. Let me help you. Oh, oh thank you, dear. Now, our only objective... Okay, so just head straight to the paint shop, and as well with the with the collectible books as well, there will also be side attractions in the world, which we are going to try to avoid for the most part. Some of them will be used to our advantage, excuse me, but in this case, um, it's a pretty straightforward mission. Brisk little walk over to the paint shop. Easy enough. There we go. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. 
Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Easy enough. Quick little side note here as well, as we're uh, approaching the end of the, the mission. There's one little part I do want to point out. Which is pretty cool. There's different ways to approach it. Now if we cut through... Here... So there's that group of protesters just in that general little center area there. We're going to walk a little closer. Now if you actually walk close enough to them, they will uh, be a little hostile. We're going to avoid them in this though. gonna go this way. If we walk completely past them, which I assume... Yeah. So it's not gonna trigger the cutscene. First time I played through this, if you walk up to the protesters, they do start a little, little argument. But that's not required. And just really quick over here, uh, skim through the flow chart. You guys can go ahead and pause if you want to read any of these. The dark gray ones are the ones that I completed in the previous playthrough. Uh, the highlighted blue ones are the specific path that we took for this playthrough. And the locked ones, I, I wonder what that is. Definitely going to have to go back and check that one out. But, on to the next mission. Scene here. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. All right, here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do, which I've never done in the first playthrough, is actually come straight out here. Because I noticed you were able to enter the backyard, but didn't actually get the chance to. So I wonder... Laundry? I love it. It's great. It just... The piano melody in the background just sets the mood. Cloudy skies. It's just... It's, per it's perfect. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hello. Is this our first chance to get to talk to... Yeah, it is.
You like playing out here? Weather game. I don't want to ask about school because I feel like... Let's go game. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Oh. <laughs> Alright. We're off to a good start already. It's not bad. It's always a good sign. We wash the laundry. No, I'm assuming just because it was sitting out here for so long. That's more of a laundry simulator worry though. We're not really too concerned about that. Alright. Let's go ahead and take this out. Do we actually... We actually have to wash the laundry. <laughs> what is that? What the fuck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Mess around with my stuff. Do we fuck up? Nervous. I'm sorry, Don. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Holy shit. And she saw that too. Is that gonna affect... Damn. Nope. So that had no effect on Alice. Good, good, good. Still off to a smooth start. see what to do yeah we'll do the garbage why not house cleaning simulator yeah maybe depends on what you need yeah yeah I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. Here, here. Right. And now that that's out of the way. He is overdrawn. A little something I never actually paid attention to in the previous playthrough. You learn something new every time. Oh, oh, no, this way. There we go. Rebuild North Corktown. Detroit City. Interesting. Oh, we don't want to miss that. First floor is done. Oh. Okay. Can we? What is that? Oh, clean the table. Okay. And it's good because this first mission actually does act as like a tutorial to get you to the buttons for the playthrough. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. So that's a really good start already. I'm happy so far. I think we're doing good progress. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. So we should do that right away, just avoid any consequences. We don't want him grabbing her neck again. Jeez, no thank you or anything. Todd, you are one... Oh, she's sitting down. This might be our chance to actually talk to her, get... Uh, No dialogue there just yet. Might even have to go up to the second floor first. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Time to go upstairs. And here, this part right here is actually one of the most important things we're gonna have to pick up. Let's go directly into Todd's room. Now remember that. That is very important for another chapter. Oh, did not mean to pick that up. Uh, let's go ahead and put that back down. There's also another minor, important little piece right here. I just noticed that little detail too. That whenever the light turns yellow, that's like a processing um, indicator that they're thinking about something. That's actually a really, really great little detail I never actually realized before either. Ventilate the room. bed. Room. Watch it. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Let's go talk to her. Oh, can't. We actually have to do a couple things in here first. Bad. And I think...
We're gonna I'm be sure friends. We used Come to on. Be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Seem quiet interests. Your father said you chose my name. Kara. It's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. <laughs> that is a great start already. Okay. Awesome. Got the key. Now, this part here being a very important part to the story as well. I believe that this isn't an additional unlock, like dialogue unlock, but this definitely does have an effect on the story. This is one of the really important things to go through. everything in her room oh wait a minute what do we have here so that one there is not really that important to the whole story I love how she carefully walks over the book not to trample on it it's so little details like that That pretty much wraps up that. Let's go talk to Todd. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. It's kind of hard to feel bad for him because if you did pay close attention, when we did pick up his medication, one of the side effects is mood swings, specifically showcased in that particular part of the story and we actually covered a whole lot except this too which I 
I wish I could tell you what those were, but here we go. Here is the branch as well. Go ahead and give that a pause if you guys want to read through that. But with that, we're on to the next one. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with my first playthrough. Go ahead and jump ahead. Just going to go directly here. Now our... Yeah. So our main objective is to take care of Carl, but we're going to jump ahead a little bit. It did take some time to explore and realize that you can actually prepare everything before you even go see him. That is beneficial to our playthrough because it does save some time. Let's go ahead and get his breakfast ready. And if I'm not mistaken... Piano... That... So we don't need the magazine. Globe... What's a globe do? actually. Oh. What is required in this room here? A couple things we gotta tidy up. So we'll do that here. Get this out of the way. Cool, cool. There's one on the table this way. Take this time out to uh, ask you guys a bit of a, a bit of a personal question. What are you guys thinking of this game, personally? I'd like to hear what you guys think. Hey, you know what? If you want to talk about what choices you made in the story, let's uh, let's try to avoid avoid spoilers in the comments. Just keep this safe till the last episode, and uh, we'll save the discussion for that. What are you guys thinking so far of the playthrough of the game? I'd love to hear it. That's it. That's it for the first floor. Again, aside from the little thing here and there, the magazine we're going to avoid. Yep. Let's go to the second floor. There's also... Yeah, so there's also the birds. Are we able to do the birds? No. Okay, we're not. So we're going to avoid the birds just for this playthrough. They don't really have an impact on the way that this chapter carries out anyways. Not a big deal. Let's go take care of Carl. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Is there anything in this room that we... Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. 
Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Got that wrong. <laughs> I pressed uh, R1 there by accident. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television. you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the Okay. So we got a couple things to do. Play piano. Check out the magazine. What is this? Chess? Chess? Okay. Okay. Chess. What else is there? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I did in the original. I actually read a book. Interesting dialogue, but I think... Shall we go with chess or the piano? Hmm. Quantic Deluxe, I love that. A little nod to Quantic Dream there. Let's try the piano. I wonder... Will this have any additional dialogue with it? That is what I'm curious about. Hopeful, intimate, enigmatic. Well, this is the best ending playthrough, so there is only one choice that we will, we should go with in this case. Oh, so you get to do it at your own speed. He's playing the intro song. That's awesome. That's great. That 
is actually awesome. You can change the speed and see how fast we do. Okay, that's a little too fast there. Slow it down a bit. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. That was great. That was great. Let's see, now Carl is one of the only characters. We gotta grab him, of course. Look at me. I'm jumping ahead of the game here. He thinks highly of Marcus, and that that, that that's great. He knows. He definitely knows. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. I like the cinematic cameras too. That's awesome. Is there something we're missing? Always good to double check. Just in case. What's your verdict, Marcus? What did we go with originally? No opinion. Let's go no opinion. I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Let's do it. Statue. Desk. Uh, yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with Carl's painting again. Because <laughs> I don't know if the dialogue will be the same, but it's actually, it's pretty funny what he says about it. That is a perfect copy. Reality. The painting <laughs> is not about other conspiracy. The world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Try it. 
trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Process. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity, which is the one I believe I chose. Let's try androids. Sadness in androids, pain in androids, fate. Fate seems a little dark. Hope. Try sadness. I think those two go well together. Because if you think about it, the androids are slaves. They're slapped around told what to do. So there's some sadness in that. It is true. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> Looks like the guy from Infamous or something. What was I his didn't name hear again? You come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? And he lies. No. no, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. That's it for that chapter. Another one down. Similar choices. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't uh, we didn't activate the birds in this one. Uh, come on, this is Marcus's clothes. Okay, so that's what I was pointing out in the original. Um, the mission before this one, the chapter uh, that you play as Marcus, if you confront the protesters, he, Marcus gets pushed around and everything, and uh, Carl takes notice of that, which he didn't mention in this, so, you know, we avoided them, so he nothing to notice anyways. Uh, here's the rest of it. <laughs> 